Well, it's Monday, Monday after Pentecost, and we did Pentecost is the birthday of the church, Pentecost is the day that the church was born, and the church was born in pain for the Lord Jesus Christ in order to give birth to the church had to die on the cross and shed his blood. Then he had to prove his victory over death because our church is the only church that conquers death. And right now we're in a world in which death is all around us because it's a world which is without the church, a world that's without Christ, and hence there's death everywhere. Many people dying, and all there's death in marriages, you've got divorces, you've got many wars throughout the whole world, and the, and the great sadness, the death of hearts. There's death everywhere in the world today because it's a world without Christ and the church. The church is the only thing that conquers death. The Lord Jesus Christ built the church by shedding every drop of his blood on the cross, by making his apostles suffer with him on Holy Thursday night and Good Friday, by bringing them back from their suffering, and then he sent them out to the world on Pentecost Sunday. And today is the second day of the birthday of the church. So yesterday was Pentecost Sunday. Our Lord St. Peter preached his first sermon, and 3,000 people converted to the faith. And today he preached his second sermon, and 2,000 people uh, converted to the faith. And there are 5,000 baptisms between yesterday and today. And this is the very beginning of the church. And then from the very beginning, it said, go to the very ends of the earth, carry the gospel to the very ends of the earth. And so this is the week in which many souls are baptized that are going to have to carry the Holy Ghost from the church to the end of the world. And then our Lord says, that, and also our Lord said in the gospel today, the devil is already conquered. He said it in the past tense. On Holy Thursday night, he said, have confidence because I have conquered the world. It's already conquered. Then he says, the devil is already judged. And this is to remind us that Jesus Christ is God and that he is in control of all of history. He knows what's going to happen tomorrow. He knows what's going to happen the next day. He knows the last choices we're going to make when we die. He knows all the saints to the end of the world. He knows all the old devils to the end of the world. And he has already judged them all. To remind us that Jesus Christ is in charge of every single moment in history. He's not like a normal king. A normal king rules, and then he hopes that no one's going to come and take away his kingdom. A normal king rules, and he tries to defend his kingdom. But Jesus Christ rules time he created the world 6,000 years ago was God the Son until the very ending of the world. And he rules in his humanity the last 2,000 years. He still rules and he will rule to the very end of the world. And he doesn't have to worry about protecting his kingdom. He is the judge and he is already judged. So that remember when there are wicked men who are doing evil things and there are wicked men doing evil things throughout the whole world, they are already judged. Unless they repent, they're already judged, and they are damned. And if they repent, then they're already judged, and they will be forgiven, and they go to the kingdom of heaven, maybe after passing through purgatory. But what our Lord says twice in Holy Thursday night, I have already conquered the world, fast tense, and then the gospel today, the devil is already judged. So we got to remember that we worry about tomorrow. We don't know whether we're going to have our house tomorrow, we don't know whether we're going to have our health tomorrow. We don't know whether we're going to have our church tomorrow. We don't know what we're going to be tomorrow. But we know this. God is always God. Jesus Christ is always King. His church shall always be here till the very end of time. And it shall be ending with the church triumphant. Remember, there's three parts of the church. The church militant. The church fighting here on earth. The church suffering. The souls in purgatory. And the third one and final part of the church is the church triumphant. There is no other conclusion for our church than that it triumphs. It has victory. The church will always have victory. So when the, so when the apostles, when St. Peter preached his sermon today, he knew there were only 5,000 people in the entire world that believed in Jesus Christ. When millions and millions of people on the earth, there was only one small city in the whole world, the city of Jerusalem, where people believed in Jesus Christ. In the hundreds of thousands of other cities, nobody believed. But he also knew that this faith is going to spread to the very ends of the earth. And it's going to last until the very end of time. And that Jesus Christ has judged every man on earth. And therefore, when St. Peter, as Pope, and the, and, the, and the apostles, as bishops, and the 70 disciples, as priests, and then those first 
nuns and monks and the first faithful, when they went out into the world 2,000 years ago, they knew they were going into a world that was already conquered, already defeated. And they were knowing they were going against a devil who is already judged and already condemned. And we have to remember that. You know, sometimes we're getting tempted. We're getting tempted and we're, we're getting afraid and we're getting attacked. And we see there's so many devils out there. But when you're in a battle, you see a thousand devils out there. And there's three of us in here against a thousand devils. It's very, you must remember, the thousand devils are already judged. And all those that are fighting for the world are already defeated. Therefore, don't be part of the world and don't listen to the devil and we cannot be defeated and we cannot be judged negatively. So let's stay with Christ. Remember that we stay in the church because of the church of God, the true church. We all stay in the church because we want to be on the winning side, because we want to triumph and we want to go to heaven. So St. Peter spoke about the victory of the church and then we proved our victory by Jesus Christ's resurrection a few days ago. And then he ascended into heaven, which is where we are all going to go if we remain faithful and connected with him. Let me get close to that. God bless you all. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost.